Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Root W4 Crime After Days Extend Edition. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. As if to shatter the calm mood, the sound of the intercom rang out. <laughs> Myself, yourself. <laughs> Your mom? Very rarely did anybody visit this house at night. Well, no, she would have the key, right? Natsugo felt suspicious as he answered the intercom on the wall. Hi, Donata Deska. Ah, Kosira Tenkawa san no Takade Yoroshkata de Shoka. No. Ha, so desma. Uh, no. Tenkawa Natsuhiko san wa gozai taka deska. No. Natsuko felt a little uneasy, so for now he answered dishonestly. あの、どちら様でしょうか。Are you? Hoanka? Natsuko was suspicious. Why would the security department give this house a visit? Did we ever give give um him our name? Asiko was terrified. That wasn't what happened. Uh-oh. It got to him. It got to him. That means... Ooh. The security department member used polite words, but his tone sounded relentless. And who else? This is suspicious. <laughs> Natsuko shuddered to think that they could identify him with such accuracy in such a short amount of time. But that wasn't the problem. What the hell did that security guard tell them? That's completely disjointed from the truth, isn't it? Perhaps he resented being unflung, but what he said was clearly fabricated. Yeah, no. Come with us. Natsuko understood full well what that phrase implied. The security department member didn't come here simply to ask for his side of the story. If that were the case, they could do it here and now. And the fact that he went out of his way to come here at night meant he came to take us into custody. Confused at the sudden turn of events, Natsuko decided to buy time for now. Natsuko hung up the intercom and turned back to the girls, upon which they all looked back to him in worry. いや、保安課の人が僕たちを補導しに来たらしい。ああ。補導? Indeed, although the three of them were guilty of wrongdoing, the security guard was even more malicious. Yeah, 
Huh. Wait. Um, again. Why? Why not to Hiko, right? Why not anyone else? Huh. Like, why didn't they cross reference anyone else? Tao you? Ashiro? None of them. Natsuko thought back on his knowledge of the security department. Ooh, Rokume City Security Department has been added. The Rokume City Security Department was an organization that worked with the police to maintain the public order of the city. They were founded in 2016 based on the privilege of a government designated top secret city to mobilize a self governed police force. They were a large organization consisting of 8 officials, 32 sections, and 400 men given just about the same privileges as the police. For example, they had the authority to inspect the city security camera footage and citizen database, the authority to carry extendable batons, and as well as the authority to patrol, interrogate, and detain and take people into custody. Huh. So. Okay. So, like, I still suspect. Um. There's still some of those Q members on the inside. That's what I'm suspecting. Still. Naturally, they didn't have the authority to possess handguns or to make arrests, but in exchange, their footwork was light and they were able to intervene in civil affairs. So. Isn't taken into custody mean you're arrested? Because if, because if they're under arrest, that that means, you know, they're taken into custody. If they're not under arrest, they could just leave, right? Small fights, active discrimination against communicators, misdemeanors, and pretty disputes were often reported more to the security department rather than the police. And naturally, those taken into custody by the security department were often handed over to the police. Even though the security department member said he'd leave for today, they could still sense his presence outside the door. Perhaps he was waiting for Natsuhiko to get back, or possibly he was starting to make the connection that the housekeeper was Natsuhiko himself. The four children sank into silence for a while, and eventually Mashiro muttered, Probably not. You probably have to stay over and probably sleep in the bed with me. Well, I'm, you're not gonna go now. Or stay here. And then that would isolate Mashiro again. And she'd seen the terrorist face. In the options that something did happen, there'd be no taking it back. I want to at least see her off to your house, but. As that thought crossed his mind, Natsuko looked at Yuri. The girl who could not leave the house noticed his glance and spoke. Well, only for me, but not my Mashiro or Sayu. Natsuko was quite hesitant. They left the house just once, the security department could catch them easily and who knows when they'd be able to return. But is it really okay? Is it okay to leave Yuri here alone? Whoa, she did actually just... You know, from what we saw before, she... Got into Labo, somehow. He promised to himself that he'd keep watching over her. Felt that it wasn't the time for that now. Leaving Mashiro alone to her own devices and staying in this house with Yuri probably wouldn't give him any peace of mind. And you couldn't take Yuri away with them, much less drag her into this mess. Natsuko thought long and hard and finally he made up his mind. Yuri 
よしじゃあマシロ行こうか Hiro's eyes widened at Natsuhiko's words. Of course. Even so, you cut in with a whisper. Oh, he looks scared. Natsuko responded to her with a smile. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. So that would mean that if they are tracking Natsuhiko, then that would mean、uh, they know he's in here. They held Alice in her arms as she spoke. Three of them placed their PDAs on the table and raised the TV volume. They did so in order to cover the tracks of their escape as much as they could. So, I'm going to go to the next one. Yuri smiled in, in reply to Natsuhiko's question. Yeah. Natsuhiko tried to deny it, but once he realized she wasn't that off the mark, he shut up. Yuri continued with a serious look on her face. Okay, so now we're going back to the present time, I believe, because whenever she becomes like this, it usually means that it's time to、uh, look at the watch. So I'm pretty sure right now the Yuri that's talking to us is the present Yuri and not the past、uh, flashback Yuri. Those words reach deep into his heart. Yuri's talking about what happened back then? Right before the accident nine years ago, Natsuko left with Yuri, leaving Mashiro behind. Now he was going to leave Yuri behind. But Yuri didn't stop him. In fact, she was telling him to go. Telling him to overcome the past. Natsuko quietly nodded. Natsuko exchanged a smile with Yuri before speaking to Mashiro and Saoyu. Oh, I, I actually thought that he was going to look at his watch and. Oh, okay. And with that exchange, they opened the window and escaped as inconspicuously as possible. Once they shut the window, Yuri gave them a word of parting. Natsuko nodded, and the three of them left. The sound of the TV that was left on leaked through the room and eventually faded into the distance.、Mm. Good idea, that's what I was thinking. Into the darkness. In accordance with that suggestion, the three of them headed to Mashiro's house. The Toba residence was quite nearby, no more than three minutes if you ran. Once they got close. Suspicious car. Natsuko and Sari stopped at Mashiro's command. And true enough, they looked to see Silhouette standing in front of the Toba residence. Oh. So,、uh, there are people. Okay. Hero's mother was talking to two men. 
hid themselves and strained their ears on the conversation between Mashiro's mother and the two men. Um, Mashiro, wouldn't it be time right now to, um, try and use empathy? Three kids gasped at the conversation. Security department? Security department had apparently already gone here. Mashiro's mother spoke in surprise. こちらで娘さんの帰りを待たせていただいてもよろしいですか。ああ。そんな困ります。だいたいこの時間にあなたたちこそお帰りください。まずいな。おばさんを押されてるぞ。ああ。事実だから仕方がない部分もある。ごめ
Remember that's how you entered the security camera's blind spot and rushed over to it. And then she poked Alice around her neck, which caused some sort of cable to wind out of her. That's awesome. Now you opened a panel on Alice's back, revealing an LCD screen. Did they somehow track track um Alice? Oh. Interesting. And with that, Sayu began to tamper with the security camera. She carefully removed the cover on the security camera, took out the terminal port, and connected it to Alice's cable. It, it's smart enough to know that? Nazigo and Mishio looked blankly as Alice answered reliably. Looping the video. カシカメラの出力端子をアリスに直結して撮影映像を取り込んだ。今、アリスの中には私たちが映ってない撮影映像が保存されている。これを入力端子に直結してループ再生し続ければ。そうか。僕らはこのカメラに映らなくなるってわ
Mashiro just chuckled beside him. Nostalgic? No, I don't remember anything. I don't remember that. Oh, that. I reminded Natsuhiko. That did indeed happen. As he recounted his memory of the past to Sao Then what happened to the dog? Uh, we don't know. Uh, Nazuko smiled wryly before continuing. Please let there be more. Dialogue. Please, 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 please. Uh, uh. ある日、保健所の野犬駆除に巻き込まれそうになったんだ。それでどうしたのそれじゃシリウスが可哀想だって僕とマシロで話して。あ、あ、is I don't know. Sirius will rescue the plan. The plan? Oh, that's right. Yes, I question Natsuko's heart relived the memory of that night. Under the starry sky. And I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. We escaped the security department for now. And we're staying in the park until who knows when, or if they find us. I don't. Uh, wow, this is getting ridiculous right now. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Root W4 Crime After Days Extended Edition, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye. Can I just? Can I? Can I just have all the chocolate there? I want all of your chocolate. Mmm, delicious yumminess.